Hey, just a quick reminder everyone that there are big spoilers in this video for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. So if you haven't beat it and do not want to be spoiled, come back and check out this lit video later. But don't forget... Hey guys, what is going on? Narcissus here from RLP Gaming Projects. The ending to Hyrule Warriors blew me away with the way it diverged from the events that took place in Breath of the Wild. So in this video, we are going to talk about the story of Age of Calamity, what was different between Breath of the Wild and Age of Calamity, and discuss which story that Breath of the Wild 2 will follow. Before all of that though, make sure to go down and subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up to help others see this video. So Age of Calamity, I guess, is still referred to a prequel to Breath of the Wild, even though different events transpired between them. In Breath of the Wild, all of the chosen champions to pilot the Divine Beast end up dying and it took Zelda and Link 100 years to be able to save Hyrule from the Great Calamity. In Age of Calamity though, the champions were able to be saved due to time travel. A new character revealed to us in the Age of Calamity called Terrico, I think I said that right, anyways, enabled this. Terrico is an egg-shaped guardian that was assembled by Princess Zelda and obviously has some mysterious powers. The Terrico that is a hero travels back in time from the Breath of the Wild timeline along with some malice that corrupts the Terrico from the Age of Calamity's timeline. <laughs> now, this can all be really confusing, trust me, I know, but let's continue. So Terrico can perform time travel and is able to bring back heroes from Breath of the Wild's time 100 years in the future. Terrico brings back Mipha's little brother, Sidon, from the future where he is a powerful Zora adult to save her. Yunobo, Daruk's descendant, also comes back saving him as well. So in short, the Great Calamity was able to be stopped this time without any major casualties or the main cast suffering any losses. Ganon was able to be defeated in this timeline 100 years prior to when he was defeated in Breath of the Wild. So what does this mean? More alternate timelines. So just like how in Ocarina of Time the timeline diverged three times due to time travel, we have another occurrence of time diverging in Age of Calamity due to time travel. Now, when this first happened, I was suffering from like some post-traumatic stress from Final Fantasy VII Remake. I was so upset when I beat Age of Calamity, I was like, great, here we go again. More crappy time travel and alternate timelines. I just got up after that and went to bed. The next morning though, it had all settled and I started to think about it from a different angle. Ocarina of Time had time travel in it and I loved that Zelda game. And though I do think the presentation of time travel is better done in Ocarina of Time, I did become more accepting of it in Age of Calamity. I just thought it was a bit too much of a coincidence for it to happen right at the perfect moment to save all the champions like it did. Not to mention that time travel itself is becoming a cliché. But anyhow, the point of all this is that Breath of the Wild 2 will be coming out hopefully in the near future, and which timeline will it now follow? Personally, I think it will follow Breath of the Wild's timeline. Nintendo has come out and even said it will be the sequel to Breath of the Wild, but this is really all the evidence that I have to confirm this. I believe that Age of Calamity story was a bit of fan service for those players who wanted to see the champion survive and win, which you know honestly I did too, but maybe not the way that Nintendo had done it. Nintendo may even use this timeline for a game later down the road. Honestly, I hope I'm correct because this is the only real reason I'm disappointed in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. The time travel that keeps being used in video games and movies well, the novelty, it's wearing off. It's overused. A lot of people really liked the story in Age of Calamity, and even though I did like some of the aspects of the story, like, you know, Princess Zelda's stellar character development, I felt more or less disappointed. But everyone, let me know how you feel about the story in Age of Calamity. Is time travel really being overused, or am I being overly dramatic? This is a hot topic for me right now, so let's discuss it. 
but that is going to end this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell to stay notified for future videos. Until the next project guys, take it easy. I'm out!